Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about stupidest things NFL players have bought. Before starting this video like this video. And subscribe to our channel for future updates. The NFL and its players are a strange combination. For example, when Baltimore Ravens quarterback Joe Flacco led his team to the promised land and won the Super Bowl 47 MVP award, the franchise rewarded him by making him the highest paid player in the NFL before taxes. Of course, how did he react when he got the news? Number 5. By swinging through a McDonald's drive through Of course. 52 million guarantee over the length of the pact, per Spotrac. Flacco rolled into McDonald's just hours after signing the agreement, where he was recognized by employees and asked to stop for pictures, per ESPN. What was the cost of Flacco's extravagant celebration meal? A $6.99 gourmet dinner for one that includes a 10-piece chicken McNugget, fries, and one unsweetened iced tea. With the new $29 million in his wallet, he didn't exactly indulge. Mr. Flacco may be the highest paid player in NFL history, but he is far from the only one who has gone crazy, or absurdly foolish, after getting a new contract. Let's take a look at some of the most bizarre purchases made by NFL players after signing a new contract. Number 4. Vince Young Love Cheesecake and Lonely Flights, and Debt. Vince Young is bankrupt. So put this one in the not astonishing category, per AOL. Young signed a six-year, $58 million agreement with $26 million guaranteed after being taken third overall in the 2006 NFL Draft, per Spotrac. The rest, as they say, is history. During his first season, Young splurged heavily, but nothing was more surprising than his trips to the Cheesecake Factory and TGI Fridays. Young and his entourage would rack up $5.000 tabs at a minimum each time they went. According to Clay Travis, a man who questioned a number of workers at locations Young would frequent. At a Cheesecake Factory, to be precise, one former employee recalls a bill of more over $6.000 in particular. Young's squandering of money spilled over into other aspects of his life, including travel. Young, according to NESN, wanted some solitude on a Southwest flight, so he purchased every ticket on the plane. According to a student who was interviewed, Young once bought out an entire Southwest aircraft from Nashville to Houston, save for 10 passengers who had purchased tickets before he lay claim. That's roughly 120 tickets for a flight that will most likely cost $100 each. It should come as no surprise that he is the same player who took out a $300.000 loan while broke to throw himself a birthday party after getting a huge contract. Given the degree of irresponsibility he demonstrated in his rookie season alone after landing a big contract, per AOL. Number 3. Stevie Johnson Stays Humble what was Johnson's irrational purchase? A Toyota RAV4 that is 8 years old. A simple internet search indicates that a 2000 RAV4 costs just over $5.000, or in this case, a meal for Vince Young, when compared to the purchases of others interviewed, which included many pricey automobiles and houses, as well as large financial investments, it appears to be a modest buy. Buffalo rewarded Johnson with a five-year, $36.25 million contract for his exceptional play since his first purchase, per Spotrac. Let's hope he remains out of the spotlight after losing everything for petty reasons. Number 2. Sam Hood Gets Creative Even Vince Young's financial misdeeds pale in comparison to what former Chicago Bears receiver Sam Hood did with his money. Heard played his first four years in the NFL with the Dallas Cowboys before signing a three-year, $5.15 million deal with the Bears per Spotrac. For both teams, he was nothing more than a backup option. Kurt was arrested on federal drug charges in December of his first season with Chicago. It may sound horrible, but it is much worse. Kurt is said to have informed an undercover federal agent that he intended to buy 5 to 10 kilograms of cocaine and 1.000 pounds of marijuana per week. According to Complex, Heard planned to distribute pharmaceuticals to many NFL players as well as the Chicago area in general. According to CBS Chicago, Heard exemplifies one of the most bizarre and dangerous things an NFL player could do after signing a new contract. He is currently incarcerated after purchasing 30 pounds of marijuana and tested positive for the drug twice during his parole period, per Pro Football Talk. Number 1. Chris McAllister Buys a Monster Chris McAllister played in the NFL for 11 seasons. 
10 of which he spent with the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens gave McAllister a seven-year, $55 million contract in exchange for his on-field performance per Spotrac. McAllister put the money toward a large project literally. According to Peter Schmuck of the Baltimore Sun, McAllister arrived at training camp in a big Ford F-650. McAllister's version of the truck had a King Kong license plate and a satellite television receiver on the roof. The truck was estimated to be worth somewhere between $90,000 and $200,000, but based on the extras McAllister added. Such as the television, his final price was much over the highest estimate. McAllister is now broke and living with his mother and father, which should come as no surprise, per Yahoo. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.